Good morning, woodchucks. As you can see, our stockpile is getting bigger because the crates and the dryers, they are all set to be taken out. And I'm just storing them over here because, well, we don't need, don't know what we're going to need when the full release comes out. So we're just stockpiling stuff over here for now. And if we don't need any of this stuff, we'll bring it down to the workshop later on. And we can make a whole bunch of furniture, but that's what we got so far. This is like uh, two sets worth out of the dryer. And I just ran into a light post. That's okay, the flatbed can handle it. I need to fill these dryers back up, but I'll do that later on, because it does take about... It takes me about half an hour to load it on up, I guess. I kind of take my time. But over here as well, you can kind of see we got some logs being loaded into the mill. These logs are from over the hill. Right over there, where we were last time we've been taking the logs out of there. All the logs and all the stumps are clear from that little lot. I want to just go ahead and show you on the map which lot I'm talking about. This one right down here. I left a strong tractor down here with a sump grinder on it just because, uh, I don't know, yeah, who knows, I may I may need it there. I think we're today we're going up here to this lot up here, and we're going to plant some saplings up here, some seedlings, that's what they call them, seedlings, yeah. We're going to go up there and plant some seedlings up there today. As for daily jobs, like I said, not, you know, I do what I want to right now because the only thing they're giving us is the medium or intermediate blueprints, and I'm just waiting for the tier 3 stuff, really. Uh, the intermediate stuff, yeah, whatever. Not too interested in that too much. I do have to kind of keep track on, and this is why I don't want to cut down any more trees. Can I see it from here? No, how about if I get out of the truck? Can you see it from here? It'd be easier. Yeah, you can see our bark storage is getting kind of full. And the trailer that we have is full of bark as well. So I think after these logs, it should be able to fit them all in there. So I'm not too concerned about it. If I lose a little bit of bark, I guess that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, we're storing out the bark because it does say, you know, I can sell it or keep it for other uses. And the only use I know for it right now is to sell it. But, you know, we'll store it just in case we need it. But also, I should mention the uh, crates that we have sitting underneath the roof over here. Most of them are under 20%. We're basically like uh, 12 to 22% on those crates over here. So these crates might be ready as well by the time the full release comes out. And these are all pine slash uh, spruce, right? Yeah, these are all pine and spruce. I don't know how much I got of each over here, but I'm gonna say probably 60 to 70 a piece. We got like 140 crates sitting over here. You can see like, okay, 15% on up to 22%. So not much longer than those. I think another week, maybe 10 days, they'll be dry. And by then, the crates I put in here will be dry. I don't know. I haven't really been keeping track on this over here. So what... Um, where are we? Uh, looks like I got a lot of spruce and birch uh, crates ready to go. So let's see. 34. Yeah. So yeah, so it look, looks like it's going to be all birch and spruce crates I'll be putting in here. Pretty much. Pretty much. Which is fine. We got plenty of all. Um... As for over here, yeah, uh, a couple of you told me that the old logging trailer is able to grab all the logs in here. So, I don't, you know, I'm not really sure if they're going to make this better or not. I have no idea. But the bison could not reach that log in there. Maybe I could park a little bit closer to uh, this concrete edge here. But, you know, we'll wait to see what happens there. Don't know if I'm going to need logs or not. So what I need to grab this morning now is our 134 one oh, what the heck is it i think it's actually called a 431 the diagram now but it used to be called the 134 431 so yeah it used to be called the 134 so i don't know um what what seeds do i have planted i have oak planted apparently doesn't matter um well that's over here actually i thought it was backed up to i kind of forgot they're over here so I need to open the garage door. There we go. And I was actually seeing the seeds way over here, huh? Does it say which ones I got in there? Yeah, this says loaded oak, 429. Um, you know what? I probably will plant the oak. Why not? It, they're on there. I got plenty of them. Let's go ahead and grab the trailer. Or tree planter. And away we go. 
So they've been releasing some more uh, pictures of what the full release is going to look like. They showed uh, recently a wedding that someone was having. Um, looks, I don't want to say similar to Farmer's Dynasty, but it's like the same concept. Uh, so we'll have to see how that comes along. Let's see, they showed the pets. Uh, they also showed them like dancing and in and, and some kind of a barn, people dancing. And it says the animals are missing, so I'm not really sure... I don't know if we're just having a party, a barn party somewhere. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. But yeah, um, originally when the full release got pushed back, they kind of said in a, in, a, in a loose date, not a set date, but they would like to get the game kind of released somewhere around the 18th of February. So we're kind of approaching that time once again. I'm more interested at this point now when the release comes to see what the graphics are going to look like because they said they're... You know the graphics are going to they're improving the graphics so i'm quite I'm, i can't wait to see what they're kind of going towards on that have no idea but hopefully in about uh let's see it's time you see this video it's coming up the 7th of february so like another another 10 days or so at once you see this video somewhere around there we can kind of expect some more news on the release i would think so this lot over here is the next lot we'll be chopping on down with the Cobra. We're just leaving everything there because when the release comes, if they if we got quests where someone needs a certain amount of logs or whatever. It'd be nice. To, we'll have we'll have we're ready to go. Ready to go. Speaking of ready to go, let's go ahead and drop this down and plant our first tree. And follow the orange rings. I'm not gonna try to get too precise on the saplings now because really uh whoop, nope, lower. Yeah, when I, of course, when I first started doing this, I didn't have the money, and it was like, oh, crap, you know, we're going to need, we need the trees, we need the cash. Now, you know, with the amount of land I have and the amount of seedlings that we got planted, it's like, okay, uh, money's not really an issue, so I don't need to be too precise with planting trees anymore. It's good enough. And plus, we're going to have a lot more trees on this property than what was on here when we purchased it. So we're going to be just fine money-wise, obviously. I mean, look at all the crates that are there. Okay, so why? Okay, I didn't miss the stump here. Right there, but unfortunately my tractor is way down at the other end. I missed two stumps here. Well, that's just pathetic. That is bad. I uh, can't get up this hill because... Yep. Uh, so we got nine more seeds apparently for the greenhouse, and that was something I need to check on. Um, somebody was saying they don't think they're getting seeds in the greenhouse when it says that they are. So what I need to do is maybe we'll try to do at the end of this episode we'll we'll take a take an inventory of our greenhouse and we'll go to the next day and kind of wait some time and when it says hey you got some seeds put into your greenhouse we'll have a quick look to see if they actually go in there or not. Yeah, this tree planter, yes, I've had some issues on it. I mean, we're not on that steep of a hill. Now, this hill here is obviously kind of steep. So, you got to kind of raise it. and It may bottom out there. No, it didn't. That's fine. I do see we got some herbs over here ready to be picked. There's something that, for a long time, I couldn't wait for the herbs to come out. And now, I'm not even really going out looking for them too much. It's like if I'm if I'm there and they're there, yeah, I'll pick them on up. I, mean, I do like the idea of the furniture work workshop, but really, once you have it and you bring in that much cash, um, doing all the other things, I don't know if you're like me, but it's like, yeah, okay, I've done so much of that up to this point. I don't feel like going around doing it right now anymore. It's not like I need the money. And you saw all the crates that we have. They're going to be ready here in another week again. And the ones we already have. The amount of furniture I'm going to be able to make. And the amount of money I'm going to be able to bring in. It's going to be a lot. So do I need to go around and collect herbs? Uh, I do want some lotion and shampoo to carry around with me. So I can hand out some gifts. Uh, basically gifts to one person. Which is going to be hopefully my future wife. tractor is sliding down the hill a little bit 
So that's about the only reason why I want shampoo and, and herbs right now. Uh, not shampoo, shampoo and lotion. Yeah, I need the herbs for that. Maybe at some point. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure if I even want to buy more land at this point. Because I think we got plenty of land, really. I mean, unless I just want to have a day where I want to go cut some trees, and, you know, at some point, again, I'm just going to be like, well, I don't have no trees to cut. I got, like, another... Well, I got to go through this year, and then next year, next spring, all the lots that we planted last year should be ready. I do believe. That's my belief. And I believe. I believe they shall be ready. I'm not even too worried about the two stumps that are up here. Once I'm up here again, probably stump grinding that lot over there. I'll try to remind myself to come over here and take care of those two stumps. Or I'll just leave those stumps there until these, <laughs> until this lot is ready in a couple of years. And I'll take care of them then. And at this point here, I'm not too concerned. I didn't even look to see how many oak trees that we do have planted because I do believe I got plenty of saplings planted everywhere of each kind of uh, each kind of tree which is birch, oak spruce and pine I do believe I'm kind of even, you know uh, making it even around the map that we've been kind of planting so we have about the even amount of number of all kinds of trees not that I can't uh, find some around here. There's enough lots still left for sale. So if I do need some certain trees, we can go ahead and find some if I need to. But I don't think we're going to need to. So the whole dating thing, I don't know if I want to call it dating or not, but... Yep, my wife, or my, my future wife, like I keep saying, she lives over on the western side of the map. That's why we have one of our trackers over there at a store. Uh, one, I can, of course, you know, buy stuff from the store. But two, I'll be able to teleport over there in the morning. Um, she doesn't quite live at the store. Am I stuck? Yep. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can get myself out of here, which I should be able to. Well, this tree planter is fine, but you're getting some little areas like this it does tend to get stuck once in a while can I plant one there there we go then I'll wiggle my way out of here so the good news is it seems like um, around here anyways and what we've seen when you clear cut a forest area and you trim around looks like the herbs always always go back along with the mushrooms so if you're still in that stage don't worry about it they'll grow back they come back of course I may have to go around and collect some herbs because there are some gonna be some like special recipes coming up and I do believe there's some herbs that we haven't been able to find yet I even forgot which ones they are I think there's like two of them that they haven't put into the game yet. Uh, did we not plant? Do you want to plant? Is it not planting there? It's making the motion that it's planting there. But no tree is going there. How about if I plant one here? There we go. Doesn't like that lamppost, apparently. It's amazing how many little seedlings you can plant on a lot this size. An interesting part of the game I thought they could add, but I think it might be too much, is uh, having trees that, you know get covered with insects like the pine beetle would be one of them they could add the pine beetle really destroys pine trees quite a bit so maybe you have to spray the trees with 
something or you have to cut down the forest area when they get infected with the pine beetle. But even then, I don't think in real life the trees are worth anything once the pine beetle gets to it. I'm not going to be able to do too much with it. Try to use it for firewood at the most. But the firewood, I said a long time ago, I was hoping they would add that to the game. I really haven't heard or seen anything if that's a plan or not. I mean, it fits in perfect with the game. There's fireplaces, fire pits everywhere around this map. We just need a truck to deliver the firewood. Just going around and around here like I always do. But unlike the first couple lots that we did, like I said, I'm not going to be too precise on... Try to get as many as I can on the lot because I think we got plenty at this point. I can hardly keep up with the mill as it is. And I haven't been going such hardcore on the forest, you know, working every day. It's like, yeah, I'll skip this day, I'll skip that day. It did rain a couple days ago as well, so my flowers are good to go for a while. Uh, as for the greenhouse, the tomato plants are full grown. I'm just waiting for the tomatoes to turn ripe and then we'll pick those. And then I might leave the greenhouse unplanted. Just for the reason of, in case they introduce new vegetables to the game, I want to be able to make sure I can go ahead and plant them in our greenhouse. Now I think I can plant one here. Yep, I can plant one there. See if I can get a little sneaky and plant one there. Yep. That will work, that'll do. So I'm hoping when I get back to the mill that we're not full on bark. I mean, if we are, we are. I think it's going to be kind of close. And if we are full, well then, I lost some bark, but it's not going to be that much. Probably maybe like a thousand kilograms worth. Just that I do have the other trailer, the old trailer. But I'd rather not fill that one up if I don't have to. But we shall see. Because so I assume by the time we get back anyways, all the logs will have been uh, pushed through the mill anyways. It's too bad we can't activate a button so we can constantly see the marks on the ground. I'm constantly holding down my right mouse button. And apparently I'm stuck. Now I'm unstuck. I'm trying to remember how many saplings I started with and I'm thinking I've almost planted I haven't planted a hundred saplings on here, have I? We'll find out later on when I get done. And for some reason, I got the amount of, like, there was, like, maybe 22 trees or something like that on this property when we bought it. And we're still adding. This property is bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, sometimes the map, I look at the map, I'm like, ah, that forest isn't that big. Then you get there and... I have the same problem in Farming Simulator. When I do Farming Simulator, I look at a field and like, yeah, that field's not going to take me too long to work. And then you drive there with equipment and you realize, oh, that field's bigger than I think it is. But as for right now, as for doing work around the mill, yeah, I'm, not, I'm done cutting down trees, like I said, because the mill's getting kind of, we know it's getting full of bark. I got plenty of crates. So it's just a matter of now just waiting to see what kind of quest we have to do. What people are going to need. I mean, the one that's going to need the most, I would think, would be James building all the cabins around here. planting a whole bunch of oak trees in here. 
Every time I think it won't take much more, it's taken more than I thought. Bison's definitely going to come in handy when they cut the uh, oak trees down because these oak trees, when you cut them on down to full grown, those logs are thick. Take up a lot of space. Oops. Uh, yep. Perfect. All right, we're getting down to maybe like maybe four more at most. Okay, maybe more than four. <laughs> I wonder if I can... Can I get it? And that, I don't know if you can see it little square right there. Can I get it? I did. That little tiny piece. Snuck it on in there. This is like I said. I always said when, it, when you get to the end and you see these circles everywhere. You, start, you can't try to tell where... The outer circles are, and the inner circles are. I think right through here is where we need to be. This might be the last one. And can I squeeze one right here? Yep, I can squeeze one there. But well, I definitely think that's good enough. Alright, so if you go to the map, we can kind of scroll up here. We can see I planted 128 saplings, or seedlings. Which is about right. I was going to guess uh, probably like 130. I think we guessed that we can plant 100 seedlings per 0.1 of a hectare. That's usually what it is, right? So if we go to um, like over here. So there's 0.18 hectare. I got 184 in there. And there's 0.1 hectare. I got 99 in there. This one here, not so much. That's 0.47 0.47 hectares and I only got 300 in there so that seems a little bit off uh, there's 0.14 and I got 172 in there and 0.13 I got 159 in there it's like you know I, I guess it's the way the, the the forest is shaped as well but as we know that's that's a lot of trees that's a lot more trees I got planted in here than there were trees when I bought the property Alright, time to bring this on back down to the mill. Park this up for... Um, oh, we might be planting a little bit next episode as well. Because, like I said, they're kind of planting on February 18th. Or we're shooting for it around February 18th. And next week at this time, of course, will be the 14th of February. So, I assume I got one more episode after this before the full release. But who knows? Who the heck knows? So maybe next episode we might do some planting or... Eh, maybe not because we just did planting this episode. So maybe next episode we might actually jump in the dune buggy and go around and do some, do some jobs. Maybe grab the weed trimmer and do a couple of those. See if I can get a blueprint or so. I would like to get a few more social points, but I think... Uh, I got like what? Close to 130,000. So I don't know if they're going to use the same concept as they did in Farmer's Dynasty where the more money you have and the more social points you have, the easier it is to get forward ladies to adore you a little bit more. <laughs> so hopefully I got enough of all that stuff to make it easier on myself. Of course, I could just use my charm and good looks. Uh, that should does work just as well. I'm starting to think I need to repaint some more of the stuff around here because we got a lot of the yellow equipment around here. I know originally I said, eh, the trailers will be yellow and the tractors will be... Well, I think it was this blue color, right? But now we're trying to mix it up a little bit more. No, I didn't want to get up. I hit the wrong button. Can we get back in? Lower that down. Thank you. Drop that off. And park this up. Let's not get too close to the trailer because I don't want things to go out of whack. Close that garage door. And I'm going to assume our mill has gone through all the logs here. I didn't think there was that many logs left, but um, 
sometimes it surprises you. Yep, all the logs are gone. How are we doing on the bark? Okay, we're, we're more than fine on the bark. More than fine on that. Uh, wood chips. Yep, only one third of the way full. We got, you know, a good number of uh, wood chip, uh, chipboard crates waiting to go. I just need to get these all filled back up, which like I said, it takes me about a half hour. I do take my time. I, it, It's a tedious job sometimes. So what I do is I do like maybe... Uh, one side, then I go get up and walk around for about 10 minutes, take a break, and then come back and do the rest. But yeah, these over here are all fully dried, ready to go. So I think we got, uh, well, we got, you can see we got some spruce, we got some oak. I don't, I got a few pine and birch. So if they do ask for pine, I may have to dig those out or the ones over there. I'll have to wait for the ones over here to be all set and ready to go. Like I said, those might be ready in about 10 days. I think it's, what, 3% per day they dry? Somewhere around there. I think it's 3% per day. Somewhere around here, and these will dry at 12% per day. I do believe. So, just run over here. To just take a double check on the greenhouse. Because I want to do that test myself. Let me grab myself a pen and a pad of paper so we can go and check our inventory in the greenhouse. And we'll jump forward to the next day. Have to wait until 9 o'clock though. That's when we get our information that the our neighbors liked us so much they're going to give us some seeds. So let me write down these numbers here. Let's see, 42, 118, 11, 39... 1632 67 67 all right so I got the numbers I'm not gonna be too worried about filling up the uh, the dryer stay and skip a day it doesn't really matter too much as for painting around here when the full release comes out I've had some ideas of what I want to paint the buildings um, I'm gonna keep that to myself just for now I'm not sure if I want to paint them that, those colors, though, or not. <laughs> I have to wait and see how it looks. But like I said, I do have some ideas for the outside of the buildings. As for the inside, I'm not too sure about that yet either. And, you know, need some furniture in this place because we took it all on out. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Do I have everything done? Yep, go ahead and sleep. You're all set. So, of course, we're going to wake up at 6 o'clock. I need to run around to all the stores, do the things I do, just to stockpile up. Because as we know, one of the quests was 100 apples, 100 milk, 100 eggs. Kind of working towards that. Uh, what's my social points? Oh, 153,000. Okay. Money, don't care about too much. We're just holding off on everything. Wow, three out of four in the first batch. Mm -hmm. That's not too bad. So I got about three hours in game time to find out... Um, I'm getting nine seeds per day, I think. But we're going to find out here because we wrote down those numbers and we shall see. In the meantime, I'm going to run around, run, blah, 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 run around to all the stores, do some shopping, then I'll jump into the forklift and start putting some crates into the dryers. Better make sure I don't pick up any of my sunflowers because I don't want to do that. And um, I'll see you around 9 o'clock. We'll check the greenhouse and see if I'm actually getting seeds or not. Now, I know I said it took me about half an hour to usually do this, but today I figured, you know what, I'm going to time myself to see how long it actually takes me now. It's been a while since I actually timed it, and um, it's only been like 10 minutes, so I'm just about done here. Uh, that side right there is already done. I'm down to the last dryer. Not quite even 9 o'clock in the morning yet, so either I'm just getting better at this, or it's a new forklift, or I don't know what it is. Or maybe just rounded off some time before and thought it took me half an hour. But like I said, I used to take about a 10 minute break in between doing one side and starting on the other. But the good news is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this done before 9 o'clock-ish. Uh, may turn 9 o'clock here when I get one of these last pallets in. Then like I said, we'll run over to the greenhouse and see did I get my 9 seeds into the greenhouse or not. And I, got, I started thinking it's uh, 9 at 9 basically. 9 seeds at 9 o'clock. Now, some of you did say, yes, you get seeds, but you're not getting them in the greenhouse, or, but you didn't say, are you getting nine seeds like I am, or are you getting, like, more or less? 
depending on how many flowers you have planted. So let me know below. Are you getting nine seeds? I think someone did, may have said they were getting a little bit more seeds than I am, but they did say they had more flowers down. I can't remember. Maybe been one person that said that. So I got one more crate to put on in. Mostly in the first half uh, of the dryers was all birch trees. So we got a good number of crates of birch. And now I'm just swapping back from birch to spruce. All right, there is the last one in. Nine o'clock right, oh, there we go. Uh, got done exactly at nine. Is that perfect timing or what? It looks like all the dryers are full. Now I'm just going to back this on in. Right, let's jump on out. Which way am I facing? There we go. Let's head on over to the greenhouse. How are these doing here? 16, yeah, I think it's like 3% a day. And don't be, and just be careful. Um, when you have the, the, the crate stack like that, as we found out one episode, I kind of bumped into one and they all fell over. Not all of them, but most of them did. So yeah, you can nudge them uh, with your character and they will move around. Can I do it here as well? Yeah, they move uh, when they're stacked on top of one another. You can kind of bump into them and move them kind of easily. Just be careful of that. All right, I got my pad of paper here. Let's go over to the greenhouse and see. Did I mean, let's see if the numbers did change. If the, you know, Did I get nine of one seed or did I get one of each or something like that? I have no idea. Let's jump into here. Uh, so 42, 118, 11, 39, 16, 32, 67. Yeah, so none of, you know, it said I got nine seeds. Um, yeah, so that none of this changed. None of that changed. Now, of course, you know, when the full release comes, maybe that'll be something that they fix. Um, maybe it's a bug they don't know about, but uh, hopefully if they do watch this episode now... Yeah, I got a bug to where my greenhouse that says I'm getting nine seeds and I'm not getting the nine seeds. Uh, my greenhouse should be full of moisture, which it is, because like I said, it, it rained a couple days ago and I left the windows wide open. Um, yeah, so we're pretty much uh, all set for today. Uh, some flowers should have plenty of water. They should be wet. Yeah, I wish they are. Another trick I think I've said, mentioned a couple times, like when you wake up in the morning, if you have flowers planted and you know they weren't, your flowers weren't quote unquote very wet, so like right today they're wet uh, if you go outside first thing in the morning check your flowers and they also they say very wet more than likely it's going to rain that day that's why it's, they say very wet but uh, i think i mentioned that before but if i haven't uh now now you know but i think that's going to do it for today guys uh, like i said uh, we got so we got this field up here i keep saying field uh i don't even know if it, yeah well it was a field it's not a forest anymore uh, but we got this, we got this old planted with some oak trees, saplings, seedlings, whatever you want to call them. Uh, like I said, this lot down here where our strong tractor is, I believe I got all the stumps cleared up and all the logs are picked up. We don't have logs anywhere now to pick up. So yeah, now we're just kind of, uh, I don't want to say in a race and stockpile as much as we can before the full release. So hopefully I have everything that we need when it does come. But like I said, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time right here in Lumberjacks Dynasty. But until then, have a good one.